recognise you. Yeah, well, once I've had a few days to work on it. Dad! I'm just off to the hospital. Donald's come round. Oh, he's pulled through? Yeah. Can't believe it. I bet you can't. That wasn't in the grand plan. Uh, where are you going? Coming with you. Oh, no, you're not. What, so I'm just meant to sit around while you give your sugar daddy some one-on-one -on -one physio? Oh, for God's sake! If I don't go, I could lose everything. Look, I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. We'll go out. Make a night of it. You're working? Yeah, unfortunately. But it's New Year's Eve. Uh, someone's got to keep the scum off the streets. Mm. Is it a lay bar at the Woolly? Yep, should be a good night. Pop in. What was that all about? Oh, um, he just wanted to know what time we're closing tonight. Huh? Yeah. I'm sure it's nothing. See you soon. What's wrong? Oh, Grayson's gone AWOL. It's not your responsibility. Well, Katie's panicking. I can't just leave her. What? He's gone missing? Well, not exactly. He's been out all night, hasn't come home. It's nothing new. I thought she'd left him. She has. How is he? Eating for England? He hasn't had any setbacks. Quite the opposite. In fact, he's looking forward to going home. I've been thinking. I'm going to move back in, look after you. Well, let's hang fire on that one. I mean it, Dad. I know you've got this plan or whatever it is to wind up Nicola. But I'm not going to let that evil witch take you for everything you've got. Hey, that's my wife you're talking about. I'm serious. I can handle Nicola. If I couldn't, I wouldn't have married her. Donald, sweetheart. You look great. How are you feeling? Are you the lady who's come to give me the bed bath? Katie. Well, I've tried phoning him, but he's not answering. He's really upset, Purdy, with the funeral and everything. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's not as if it's the first time. It's you I'm worried about. Have you had any sleep? What do you mean, it's not the first time? What, he's done this before? Oh, there's something you need to understand about Grayson. Oh, when he's under pressure, he tends to disappear. Well, where does he go? Out. What, like, on a, on a bender? You could call it that. Look, he always turns up safe and sound the next morning, so you really don't have to worry. Look, let me get you something to eat. That baby needs feeding. Thanks very much. Morning. Hi. Wow. Sounds like a rough night. I suppose he can do what he likes now that has gone. Makes you appreciate what you've got, I suppose. There's lonely one-night stands and desperately cruising the streets of Holland. Can't think of anything worse, can you? <laughs> Feeling better. But you don't need to do all this. I'm just worried about Grayson. I was worried about you. I know things haven't exactly turned out as we planned. That's an understatement. But I want you to know that I'm here for you. The last thing I want is for you to be stressed. Hello? Hello? What are you doing here? Well, someone had to look after Katie. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, she wasn't when she was up half the night wondering where you were. Right, sorry. I would have been back earlier, only I went to see my mother in the chapel of rest. No, it's all right, honestly. No, it isn't. If you can't exercise some restraint now when you're supposed to be looking after the woman who's carrying our unborn child... What I do is no longer any concern of yours. Well, it is when it affects my baby. 2008, I'm not looking forward to it one little bit. <laughs> Why is that? 
me only son getting off. Don't go. Mother. What's Barcelona got that we haven't? <laughs> you really need me to answer that? It's about time you cut the apron strings. It's all right for you. That wet blanket of a son of yours will never leave. He's all I've got. Hey, you still have me? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Huh. Oh, Val, I'll have a quick orange. Oh, yeah? How are the wedding arrangements going, then? Oh, you best ask Joe. It's all been a bit last minute. Huh. Present equivalent of a shot, can he? <laughs> Do you mind? Has she got a dress yet? Well, she's seen one, but it's a little bit more than we wanted to pay. Oh. Well, why doesn't she borrow mine? I don't know. Oh, no, but it's vintage. Betty had it made in 1954. Tell her if she wants to borrow it, she can. <laughs> I will. Thanks. <sighs> Where's Diane? She's gone to Benice's. Oh, right. Don't panic. She's coming back. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Why? You just seem a bit quiet, that's all. It's all the late nights catching up on me. <laughs> Look, I know things are moving a bit fast. The civil partnership and the move and... I'm sure it's what you want. Absolutely. You look very fetching, don't you think, Miles? Mm. Don't judge a book by its cover. The reception afterwards. I was in the horse and carriage with the 12 piece band, Swans. You must be able to remember something. I'm sorry. I know the evidence is there in front of my eyes, but I have to say, I have no recollection. I think! You don't know how difficult this is for me. Well, it's difficult for me, too. I mean, I can't get my head round it. Why would a beautiful, young, vibrant girl like you want to be with an old goat like me? Isn't that obvious? Don't be silly. I love you. What do you love about me? You know, darling. I can't remember. Why don't you tell me? OK. I love your personality. You're very strong and, and forceful. What else? You're generous and caring. What about in the bedroom? Was that up to scratch? Yes, it was very pleasant. Well, keep going. You never know. It might just jog something. I've been running around back in Maniac. As soon as I've fed the sheep, I'll give you an hand. Are you, um, are you free tonight? Um, I said I'd maybe go for a drink with my dad. And what happened to being skin? Oh, come on, Joe. Spend a tenner at the most. After all he's been through, I can't exactly turn my back on him, can I? Um, I had to dip into the emergency fund today. What for? Bridesmaid stuff and shoes and my underwear. And who's going to see that? You. So all the money we put aside's gone? Well, everything just costs so much. Well, I had some good news about your dress today. You got it. Laurel said you could borrow us. All right. I, I mean, I don't know if you want to, like, but... Well, it'll leave some cash for something else, won't it? So I have to wear a second-hand dress? It's not about what you look like, Joe. Or how many tears are on the cake. It's about me and you. Showing our love for each other. I just want to feel special. You will. Laura said it's nice. So, uh... Where's the stag night, then? I'm excited, yeah. It'll be your turn next day. Maybe. Don't leave it too long. She'll be drawing out of pension. <laughs> you change your chin. Joking. So where are we going, then? How about lap dancing club in on? Lap dancing? Hey, don't worry. The lot over 50's in. I know. I've been. <laughs> hey, got you. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'll get them in. Same again? Uh, not for me. I'm shooting off in a minute. My lad's having a New Year's in part. One of lads, eh? I'm better than sitting here with all the pensioners. Oi! <laughs> don't leave me putting years on me. It seems all right, doesn't it? Yeah. I reckon the wedding will be taking his mind off things. But what about you? What about me? Well, are you sure it's what you want? It's all right. You're not doing it just in case you end up in the neck, are you? Look, Daz, even if I do get sent down, I want Joel to know how much she means to me. 
So you're prepared for a best man speech? Really? Yeah. As long as you don't mention that time we got smashed an homebrew and peed in the wardrobe. Hey, what about that time you walked around drinking Diane? <laughs> right. Stop it, I'll change my mind. <laughs> Cheers, man. So we've not got the pleasure of the lovely Carrie this evening. She got for a meal with Scarlett. Oh, did you not get invited? I thought I'd better babysit you. Oh, don't worry about me. There's plenty here to keep me occupied. Oh, New Year's Eve. And we're stuck in this hellhole. Mm. Oh, get a room. <laughs> there's got to be more to life. God, I hope so. I don't think there's a decent bloke in this whole village. I don't need a bloke. He was enough to put me off him for life. You're well rid. I'll tell you what my New Year's resolution is, though. Yeah. Stay single. Girl power. Right, ladies. <gasps> Ross, I thought you were working. Got off early, thought I'd come and find myself a couple of good-looking women. Uh, <laughs> what can I get you? I'll have a pint, please. You can sit here if you like. What time do you call this? Come on, David, after the night I've had, I don't need it. It's New Year's Eve. We're meant to be going out. What's more important? Some poxy night with a load of coffin dodgers down the wall pack or me getting my hands on Donald's millions? You're married to him. You could walk away tomorrow and get half of everything. It's not that straightforward. He could have it annulled. Oh. He had his brain hemorrhage on our wedding night. It was never consummated. So you've got to bed him to get the money? Only if his memory comes back. Ah, uh, do you know what? I've had it. You're on your own. David? I don't like being lied to. David, wait, please. Don't go. What time is it? I must have fallen asleep. Almost ten. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were doing that. Oh, no, it's all right. Everything's pretty much organised. I was just, uh, just collecting my thoughts. I spoke at my dad's funeral. It was really hard, but you'll get through it. Thank you. What for? For being here. Well, hopefully, you'll have a better year next year. Yes, starting tomorrow. Right, I said I'd see Chaz up at the wool pack, so why don't you come with us? No, um, I don't want to cramp your style. Well, don't stay in here on your own. Well, I suppose I could use a drink. Well, there you go. Come on. So how many criminals have you locked up today, then? Criminals? Eh? Hundreds. No. Have you brought your handcuffs? No, but I could always go home and get them. Promises, <laughs> promises. What about steering clear? Hmm? Oh, no, I won't go near him with a barge pole. Well, neither would I. Girl power. Yep. Any resolutions? No. Well, one maybe. I'd like to be there for Scarlett. <laughs> She's really got to you, aren't she? I wish Dad had taken the time to get to know her. It's times like this, I really miss him. Yeah, don't we all? We can't change the past, can we? I can still care. Where are you going now? You have a drink with me, Dad. Jim! Hi. Hi. A glass of red wine and... Add something non-alcoholic, please. Eh? It's New Year's Eve, Pat. What's up with you? Eh, not everyone's a raving drunk. <laughs> Who asked you, Rasputin? I'll bring it over. OK. I see that you took my advice. Just a slight stumble on the rocky road to righteousness. Do you think under the circumstances that you should exercise a little self-control? Well, we're not all perfect, as you well know. You all right? I am. I hear you've set a date. Yeah, it's a bit rush-like, but... Well, Joe's not. No, no, it's just in case, you know. I hope things work out for you. Thanks. <laughs> How come you brought Lord Snooty? Because I felt sorry for him. Well, he's had a rough couple of days, hasn't he? He got back over to Lexi. Mm. We'll have a drink later. <laughs> One virgin cocktail. Thank you. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? <laughs> what was he saying? Who? What is it? 
Oh, he was just going on. She doesn't know what she's laying herself in for. What the? I'm gonna have to go after this. Oh, oh stay and have another one. Calm, you won't kill me. Under the thumb already, eh? You what? You're not? No. Palm of me hand, mate. Speak of the devil. Blow easy, your beauty. They're all in the pub. I'm gonna look in for what? I'll be going home in a minute. Eh? What? No, not you. It's uh... Yeah, I'll call you on the landline later. You too. Bye. No such thing as true love. Eh, uh, too right. All relationships are based on convenience. Yep. Yeah. I can see that you two haven't been lucky lately. <laughs> Actually, we've taken a vow of celibacy. Oh, that's where I've been going wrong. A woman needs to take a night off every once in a while. They all too much information. <laughs> right, I'm going home. Mm, you're not staying till 12. I've had it, though. Oh, I'll call you a cab. Come <laughs> on. Oh! oh. oh. See Daisy. Oh. What are you doing? I am enjoying myself. Not that you're familiar with it. Nothing to see. Tickety boo. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. You can bump into me anytime. <laughs> oh. Oh, Randall. How are you going on? It's New Year's Eve. I have no one to snog, and I'll turn into a depressed pumpkin come twelve o'clock. Right. I better take you. No, 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 you see, that won't be necessary. I'm not taking no for an answer. Come on. All right. So, where'd Larry been then? Oh, I don't know. You can't stay out all night on your top. At least can we talk about something else? <clears throat> He's upset you, aren't he? No. Look, it's all right. You don't have to pretend you don't care. You were with him for years. He's bound to get to you. What was that for? I'm not playing mind games. It's something I'm just about getting used to. What? I've just been at Dad's grave. Something's not right. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody? Gone to Sam's. Happy New Year. Wicked. That means we've got the whole house to ourselves. Look, Chaz, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Hey, don't worry. I know your game. You've been dying to get me on my own. Hmm? Oh. I, I can't. You don't want to, you mean? Are you joking? You're gorgeous. <laughs> I just... I don't want to be something you're going to regret in the morning. Mm. How about... Mm. We pick up <laughs> where we left off. Tomorrow. <laughs> when you can only see one of me. I'll give you a ring. Mm. <laughs> mm. There you go. What do you think? Brill? A lot dead old. Still not sure what to do with mine. Have you decided what you're going to do about your dress yet? Um, yeah, I might borrow one. Oh, no way. Can well, we can't afford to buy one, can we? Should all acquaintance... Awake, Sarah. Uh, what happened to just going out for one? Oh, we got sidetracked. You don't mind, do you? Hey, look at you. Do you like it? Yeah, you'll be the belle of the ball. Uh... <sighs> hey, what time is it? Quarter to twelve. Andy, go in the fridge. Huh? I've got us a bottle of fizzy wine. Oh, can I have some? Uh, oh, go on. It's a new year. <laughs> Quick, or we'll miss it. Now, it hasn't been the best of years. And as we all know, we've probably got some tough times ahead. But right now, Joe and Andy have got their wedding to look forward to, so uh, here's the happy marriages. Yeah, happy marriages. So where's the lovely Nicola? 
we've had a bit of a barney. She spent most of the night up at the hospital kissing her husband's backside. Oh, he's woken up. What's she after? Reconciliation? God, no. Just his cash. Hmm. So what's the problem? Play the long game, my boy. She's your ticket to untold riches. Hang on in there. TV One. A limp. That might work. Well? James Dreyfus stars in comedy drama Double Time. 